Good evening and welcome to night prayer for Holy Week on Monday at the end of a perhaps a busy day. I'm going to read a scripture first from Psalm 139 and then we'll have some time to reflect and to pray and then I will read the Compline from the Northumbria Community's uh, Celtic Daily Prayer, the Aden Compline which is scheduled for every Monday. So relax and at the end of the day, you must be quiet before the Lord. And from Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away you search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So let's reflect now on, on today and what's come to pass. And let's offer up to God those who are really anxious because their loved ones are not well because of all that's happening with the virus or with other things that relate to that in some way in the way that life has changed at this difficult time with some people in healthcare and caring professions or other essential services working very very hard and others furloughed at home with an uncertain future worrying, anxious for family, for friends, for their work, anxious for what these times are doing for them. Let's offer these things to God now in our hearts. And seek that his peace will be known where there is fear and anxiety. Amen. And so to the Aidan Compline from the Celtic Daily Prayer. O Christ, Son of the living God, may your holy angels guard our sleep. May they watch over us as we rest and hover around our beds. Let them reveal to us in our dreams visions of your glorious truth. O High Prince of the Universe, O High Priest of the Mysteries. May no dreams disturb our rest and no nightmares darken our dreams. May no fears or worries delay our willing, prompt repose. May the virtue of our daily work hallow our nightly prayers. May our sleep be deep and soft, so our work be fresh and hard. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Into your hands I commit my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. 
how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Christ without sin, Christ of wounds, I am placing my body and my soul under thy guarding this night. Christ of the poor, Christ of tears, thy cross be my shielding this night. O thou, son of tears, of the wounds, of the piercing, I'm going now into the sleep, O be it in thy dear arms keep, O God of grace, that I, that I shall awake. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark, be near me, uphold me, my treasure, my triumph. Circle me, Lord, keep protection near, and danger afar. Circle me, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, keep peace within and evil out. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night and God bless.